Hello! <laughs> Sorry if you guys can hear Asher. He's making some crazy noises down there. <laughs> Say hi when you guys are hopping on. I'm just gonna get this shared and we will get going. I've missed you all. Okay. Hello, hello! <laughs> you can hear that, right? <laughs> okay. Almost ready. Almost ready. I promise. You guys like my space buns when I got my little kitty ears in front of them? <laughs> okay. Good, good. <laughs> hey, hey, Brittany. Hello, hello, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's been like forever, it feels like. <laughs> I have been on the go, you guys, so much, so much so. Like, just craziness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, family fun time. <laughs> Hello, you're in Florida? Is it hot in Florida? It's hot in Illinois today. It's like in the 90s, okay? <laughs> Hello, hi, hi Brittany, hi Brenda, hi Luan, is it Luana? Uh, hi, let's see, uh, Andrea, hello, Melinda. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so, I'm just gonna try to make this a quick live because here's what I'm gonna do. So for this whole like last week, hi Melinda, hi Melanie. Um, so for this whole last week of August, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do segments of live. So um, for today, I'm just gonna do like my base face. I'm gonna do some of like how I do like my contouring and highlighting, but I'm not gonna do like eyebrows, eye makeup, lips, nothing. I'm just gonna do my base face today and then I'm hoping on Thursday, I'm going to do um, a live all about brows. Um, some different brow products and talk about that and what I like to use and everything and how I do it. Um, and then I'm hoping Saturday, I'm not sure what time, but I'm hoping on Saturday that I can do another live and that one I will do eye makeup. And then on Monday, next Monday, I will do lips. Okay, so just as like a little schedule. So if you guys want to tune in for anything or you have any questions on anything, yeah. So <laughs> that is... Uh, that's that's the spiel, okay? So right now I am using the VFX Pro. This is the mattifying primer. Sorry, it's like there's a glare on it, but um, this is the mattifying primer. So it is like a clear silicone. I pro I grabbed way too much. That's actually way too much product, but we're gonna make it work. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. Hey, Janice. Hey, Karen. Hey, Amber. Hey. J okay, am I gonna say your name wrong? Is it Jasmine or J Jazz Jazzyman? I I don't I don't want to like butcher someone's name. <laughs> okay, so I like to spread the primer on my like out on my fingers first, and then I just put it on all over, and I put it on just like I would like my like a face moisturizer. The only thing I have on my face um, before I put on that was just like my eye cream and my face moisturizer, which is the Pure Rose line. I use that one because I have kind of combo skin. I'm oily in some areas and dry in others. So I use the Pure Rose um, face moisturizing um, lotion just so that it kind of helps balance the pH of my skin and balance everything out type of thing. Okay, you guys. So you just get that kind of all spread out like that. Okay. <laughs> Jasmine. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Carla. Hi, Joe. Karen, Amber, Hope. Hello. 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 If I'm missing your name, I'm so sorry. I, I think I caught everyone. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I just put the primer on. I try to let that set for a little bit. So here's the thing. The reason I wanted to break up my makeup routine into segments like for this last week of August here is just so that like I can go a little bit more in depth with each step that I tell you and not like try to like buzz through each step because I feel like when I do my full makeup routines like it's a long live right so it's hard to stay tuned in for that whole thing. So that's kind of why I wanted to break this up because I'm like, okay, let's break it down. So that way I, I can hopefully make this a little bit of a quicker live more. I'm hoping no more than 30 minutes, no more. <laughs> I really wanted to shoot for 20 minutes, but we'll see. I ramble a lot. You guys know this. <laughs> 
So, um, but yeah, so I wanted to make them shorter lives so that, you know, people could tune in for them a little bit more. Otherwise, um, yeah, it's mainly just to kind of like break down more like step by step, like little tips and tricks, stuff like that. Okay. All right. So you guys, sorry, I'm like getting distracted by my little like ears here. I can like see them. I'm like, <laughs> I keep forgetting I put them on. <laughs> I'm trying to hold back on my little flyaway, So I stuck them on. <laughs> But you guys, so, okay, as you probably know, I went on the bachelorette party weekend um, with some girlfriends, and it was my first trip away from Asher. You guys, I was like a nervous wreck leaving. I almost canceled the trip. I was like texting my friend, like the bride. I'm texting her. I'm like, girl, I don't think I can go. I can't go. I can't leave him. <laughs> She's like, calm down, like take a breath. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was a hot mess. I was like... A little bit panicked leaving but it was such a fun weekend it was a great time like nice little getaway nice refresher for mama so i am like just back in action now <laughs> hello shannon hi okay so you guys um i rant and rave about the orange concealer stick i know like it is a soft orange color so it probably doesn't look like it necessarily on me because i have more of like a warmer kind of olive um, base to like my skin. So, but I do find that a lot of the more fair tone ladies that, um, try this, they're like, it is actually, they say like, you know, they're like, oh, it is kind of orange, but here's the thing. The soft orange concealer is only used to correct certain areas. So like breakouts, like I have right here and here and right here and then dark circles. So you only use it in those areas and I like to use it before I even put my foundation on. So that way it's just as like a cover up type like situation. It's only to help cover up, okay? Um, and then you put your foundation over it and then it blends in really nicely. So that was a little like tip that I wanted to share. Hi, hello Christina, how are you? Hi Abby. Okay, so I take the soft orange concealer stick and I put it like right here. Any little breakout areas, y'all, like, <laughs> uh, Mother Nature is not being kind to me right now. <laughs> uh, all of these uh, little breakout areas. But I will say my breakouts haven't been lasting as long because I've been using the, um, the tea tree, the serum stuff, like the, as like a spot treatment. I was like shocked at how well that actually helps. And like it, it's a nice preventative if you feel a breakout coming on, but it's also, um, it also helps like shorten the time of your breakouts, which is really nice because I feel like mine always lasts like two or two plus weeks because well, I'm a picker for one. Um, <laughs> so they always last longer, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it definitely shortens the time, like less than a week. I noticed that, yeah. Let's see, hi Izzy, hi Mandy. Thanks girl, thank you. Yeah, I'm rocking my space buns and I got my kitty ears on. Hold my hair back. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Tammy. Hello, hello. Okay. All right. So, you guys, my, my famous kabuki brush here that I love. Okay, so you can see, like, that soft orange concealer stick, like, obviously, like, you can, you can see it, right? Okay. So, hi, Lynette. Hi, Nicole. Um, okay, so I just work in circles and kind of like to, like, buff that in. So, see, it just kind of, like, takes that away there. And it just softens the edges of, of the concealer, of that soft orange concealer stick, okay? So that way it just makes like any breakout areas or like uneven skin tone, anything like that, it just makes it so that it's not so prominent, okay? So it's like, a, yeah. Like, like, look at that, that's crazy. I just think that's so crazy. <laughs> oh no, y'all. Uh-oh. Hold on, I gotta grab something. One second. <laughs> I'm not leaving, I promise. I had to grab my stuff because I forgot something. Um, um, where is it? There it is. Okay, I forgot my my uh, lighter concealer that I used to highlight with. <laughs> I just looked down and I seen, I'm like, uh, hold on a second. <laughs> oh 
my gosh. Let's see. Um, hi, Hope. Hello. Um, Lynette, do you, yes. So I put my soft orange concealer stick on before I put the foundation on because then the foundation will hide any of like the orangeness left behind, I guess, because it is a soft orange color. So if you put it on fair skin, it's going to look very orangey if you put it on over your foundation. So it's definitely something that's meant to go underneath your foundation because you buff it in with like your brush or your sponge, whatever you want to use. And, um, and then I, I personally like to use my Kabuki brush while buffing in the concealer stick, just because I feel like it's a little bit of a thicker product and I like like warming it up per, like I feel like when I when I work in like circular motions trying to like blend it in, it kind of warms it up and just spreads it out really, really nicely. So that's personally why I like to use my Kabuki brush with the concealer sticks. Because there's two different forms of concealer um, from pharmacy. There's a liquid concealer and a stick concealer. The stick conce concealer looks like a tube of lipstick, but that is actually the um, stick concealer and it's a soft orange color, okay? This one is, they have other colors in that one as well. But for some reason, I just like the, um, the soft orange color, I like it in the stick version because I do use it underneath my foundation. And I don't know, I feel like it's just really like nice and quick. You just kind of like draw it on there, slap it on. Um, hope, link the brush I'm using. Yes, most definitely, girlfriend. Um, and if you if you want, you can even shoot me uh, just because I won't probably get to the comments until later tonight. So if you're wanting the link sooner, shoot me a message and just say like you just be like, hey, can I get the link to your Kabuki brush or like foundation brush, whatever you want to call it. I'll know what you're talking about. And I will most definitely get back to you and um, send you the link. You can find it on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Okay. So see, I just kind of buffed that in and like it already made me look more awake, right? Like it kind of took away like that, the dark circles. Cause obviously like I was out of town, like <laughs> weekend girls trip. We didn't get much sleep. Okay. <laughs> Bunch of girls in a house. Like I think it was 14 or 15 girls in one house. Like who, who baby talk about a slumber party. <laughs> it was so much fun. You guys so much fun. Um, let's see. <laughs> Brenda, yes, there were definitely big spots on my face from the uh, concealer stick. <laughs> um, Amanda, you just started with pharmacy. Nice, girlfriend. Welcome to the pharmacy fam. Girl, you, like, if you haven't tried the products yet, oh my God, you're going to love them. Love, love, love. I love when I get like good reviews from people. I've been having so many people message me like, oh my God, this is life changing. I'm like, yes, yes, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Hello, Mary. Sh okay, am I going to say this right? Sh Shandy? Is that right? See. Sh yeah. I, I always try to like pronounce the names. Because I, I want to say hi to everybody, but if I butcher your name, I am so sorry. I, I hate doing that. I'm always like, I'm going to butcher your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you. Like my ears. Hey, Millie. Oh, yeah, Brittany, I forgot. Dude. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. <laughs> she, she's got my back. She's got my back. Oh, my goodness. I tried almost everything before I tried. Yes, girl. Yeah, that's awesome. Hope you just joined too. Yes, love the makeup. A girl's trip for your uh, Millie, no, it was actually um, a friend of mine is getting married in December and it was her bachelorette party. So it was really fun. We went, we ended up going to Michigan City, Indiana. There was like, they, it's like on the lake. There's like white sand beaches. You would think you were on like a beach. Like literally, it is so nice. The water is super clear. Like, I was, I was very impressed. We've been there once before, but I forgot how beautiful it is. Um, yes, I did. Okay, good, Shandy, good. <laughs> Hi, Jenny, how are you? Okay, you guys, so 
The very first foundation that I ever bought with Pharmacy was the VFX foundation. Um, I was like sold, hands down. I was like, I don't need any other foundations. Like this one is, this one is like my jam because I'm a full coverage gal. <laughs> But I do, but I ended up trying the CC cream and the stay matte and I, I've tried so many of the foundations, you guys, like literally tried so many. So, <laughs> um, but needless to say, VFX is not like my only favorite anymore, but I'm going back to my, my roots here, like the very first foundation I bought and this is uh, what I'm going to use today. So right now i'm actually using the shade 07 because i've got kind of my summer tan going on so i've had to um get a uh, darker shade i actually started out because i started with pharmacy let's see in the winter so i was like real real ghostly looking <laughs> um so i actually started out with the color 01 which is actually a lot more of a like yellow base but I have a lot of like yellow kind of olivey tones, so it worked well for me. But um, the 07 shade actually kind of has a, a little bit more of like a like a pinkish base to it, which I don't know. It I don't know. It's not too pink though because I feel like it blends really well. So you guys, there is a pump. There's a pump on this, but for some reason, this is how I like to apply it. I literally like take it out of the. Like I unscrew it, take it out of the bottle, and I just like dab it everywhere. Ta-da! <laughs> oh. And then I just put some down my neck to blend. Because my face and neck area are lighter than the rest of my body because that's typically where I put, like where I have covered most of the time when I'm like out in the sun and stuff. So obviously like I have spots all over my face, the foundation, that's real cute, right? <laughs> Again, grabbing my kabuki brush. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Um, let's see. Uh, bum, bum. Hi, Dina. How are you? Yes, the VFX is amazing. Can you wear primer and powder with that? Yes, you can most definitely wear primer and powder for sure. If you're looking for just like a real light like look, for sure, you can definitely do just primer and powder. Um. Karen, you want to sign up? Girl, shoot me a message. I can most definitely help you and get you going. And yeah, shoot me a message, girlfriend. I would love to chit chat with you. Andrea, yes, I do color match. Most definitely. If you send me a picture of yourself in natural lighting, um, like standing in front of a window or in your car, like during the day, something like that. Um, preferably without makeup so that way I can kind of see what your undertones are but yes I can most definitely help color match you if you let me know what foundation you're like wanting to try okay dun, dun, uh, let's see thanks Lynette <laughs> hey Tiffany hello hello I know girl I got my ears on <laughs> trying to keep all my little baby hairs out of my face Okay, do you guys see why I love the VFX so much? Like, literally, like, <laughs> this is this could be like the only thing you put on your face, and it just it just gives such a nice like flawless appearance. It's literally that's that's why like it has the name Photoshop in a bottle. Literally, you don't even it's it's your filter in a bottle. You don't need to use a filter, nothing like that. Like, some good daylight, snap a selfie, and girl. Your face be looking flawless. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hello, hi. Yes, you are so welcome, Andrea. What's the name of the products you use? Um, Tammy, I use uh, pharmacy products. If you have any questions or anything, you can definitely shoot me a message. Ugh. I'm trying to like get my necklaces untangled here. <laughs> okay, so all I have on my face so far was the, let's see, these three things right here. 
primer, the, or the soft orange concealer stick, and the VFX foundation. That's all I have, and it, that's the like amazing coverage. Like, And look at that. It already has kind of like a nice soft glow to it. It's just, it's crazy. I can't say enough good things about the VFX foundation. Like, it's my ride or die. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go over just a little bit of like highlight and contour. Um, I am only, again, only doing my base face routine, meaning like, like just my face makeup. Okay. I'm not doing brows, eyes, lips, nothing like that. I'm just doing face makeup and I'm going to be breaking this down into segments. So later this week I'll be doing brows for another one. And then one after that, it's going to be eye makeup. And then, uh, next Monday will, will be like the last segment and that'll be lips. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So this is the light ivory liquid concealer. And what I like to do with this, I like to kind of put this in like a triangle area here, because like I said, I like to highlight with this concealer. So basically this just lightens and brightens this area of my face. And don't hesitate if you guys have any questions or anything like that, go ahead, like drop them in the comments. I would be more than happy to try to get to questions. You guys, I was so excited. Uh, the whole ride home yesterday, um, the, my friend who is the bride, uh, I rode with, I rode with them. And so her mom was, her mom came on the trip with us and she was giving me crap the whole time about <clears throat> wanting to get back and see my baby. And I'm like, shut up. Yes. I want to get back and see my baby. <laughs> my first trip away from him. <laughs> Asher's in the kitchen going da, da, da. <laughs> okay. So these are the areas that I put my concealer. This is super cute, right? Should I just leave it like this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So then I take a damp sponge. This is actually from pharmacy, this little uh, blending bud here. Um, and I have it damp. So once you dampen it, it's a lot more like pliable and workable when they're not, when they're dry. Um, they're just, they're a little bit harder and they're not as easy to blend with. I feel like it makes it a lot easier when they're damp. You can dampen it with just water. You can dampen it with, I've heard people dampen it with rose, um, rose water. You can even dampen it with setting spray and that kind of helps set it too. So I just kind of like pat that, kind of spread it out just like that. And I'm just patting. Okay. So I'm not like wiping it or anything like that. Yes, Melanie, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. <laughs> really needed a little more drinks. <laughs> Girl, I paced myself this weekend. I was like, mm, no. <laughs> drinks hit mama a little harder. The older I get, uh, the harder drinks hit me. I was like, yeah, nope, we're going to take it easy. I just wanted to mainly be able to, you know, the my friend that was, you know, the, the bachelorette, uh, I'm like, girl, I will take care of you. I'll, I'll be mama. I'll be the mama of the group. <laughs> okay. So then I am patting in this area here and then even up in the corner where I put it. And then I bring the excess onto my eyelid. Okay. So any extra stuff, just kind of pull it up onto my eyelid, just pressing though, okay? So see how much like, I don't know, I just feel like it makes it look so much more like just brighter and like more awake. And so then I kind of pat, same thing over here. You just kind of want to diffuse the edges of it so that way it blends. Same thing up in this corner. Y'all, I'm actually going live tomorrow too on my business page here, but um, Head Candy is actually going to be hopping on and it'll be shared to the Head Candy page. So I'll be doing a hair tutorial tomorrow. 
It's either at two or three. I gotta double check. <laughs> Central Standard Time. It's either two or three. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so got that all kind of pat in there. And then, All right, so then I am going to grab my fluffy uh, tapered brush here. Whoops, I'm not gonna step over y'all. <laughs> okay, grabbing my fluffy tapered brush. Um, so, th so the like this is the transparent finishing powder. All of the powders come with these like little pad things. I don't really use these um, personally. I like to use my brushes to apply the powders. I just like the finish of it more with the brush. So just a little tip there. So then I just kind of like pack the powder on the brush like that. So see all that powder there? And then I pat it in first where I put the concealer. That way it sets that really nice and you're not gonna get any creasing or anything like that, okay? Let's see. Hello, Natasha. How are you, girlfriend? More hair products like Millie, honestly, girl, I don't know. I am not sure. I know there's been lots of talk of things coming. I know we have some like newer eyeshadow palettes on the way. I'm super excited to see those. Um, there's supposed to be some bigger ones. And then we also will be um, getting lashes here sooner rather than later. So I'm so excited about the lashes, you guys. <laughs> okay, I feel like I got something in my eye over here. Okay. Okay. So have that set in place, right? And then what I like to do, I take um, the Face Perfecting Press Powder, and this is actually in the color, let's see, it's, there's a glare on it right now. This is the color um, Neutral Medium. Sorry, there's like a glare on it. It's being super weird. <laughs> my light's being real finicky right now. <laughs> Either it's my light or my phone, I don't know. But then I actually use this same brush that I used the, um, the transparent finishing powder. And then I will just lightly kind of go over my whole face with the neutral medium color. It's number 03, but it's also called neutral medium. I, I personally just like to set my face with powder just because I like to ensure that it's not gonna budge, it's not gonna move. I feel like if I have too much of a dewy finish, like I feel like it's not gonna stay put. But I know a lot of people that have drier skin that don't really want a matte finish. Um, so that's where setting spray is going to come into play, okay? I still use setting spray to set this, but like I said, I'm just, I'm a matte finish person. I like to have more of a powder finish. I feel like it stays better for me. Okay. So there is that. Just dusting it on, nothing like crazy, anything like that. <sighs> Y'all, this headband is like metal, and I feel like it's hitting in a spot where it's like gonna give me a headache if I don't take it off soon. <laughs> so right after the live, um, this is probably gonna come off. <laughs> this, the, these little kitty ears. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, let's see. I don't use the pads either. Unless I'm... Yeah, yep, exactly. Yeah, Sierra, I totally agree with that. Where did you get that brush? Um, Natasha, are you talking about the tapered fluffy brush? This was my, this was from my Amazon set of brushes that I got. I, I can send you the link to those. I think they were only like, it was like under 20 bucks for like a set of like 24 of them. So, um, pretty good deal. Yes, I know, girl, I can't wait for the eyeshadow either. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Ah, I, you, got, you guys need a tutorial on, on my space buns? Give me some hearts if you need a tutorial on these space buns. <laughs> Do 
Yes, girl, I will definitely send you the link to the brush. Oh, Donna, thank you so much. Yes, no, Vicky, I totally know. I know, my mom, yeah, like my mom, uh, yeah. And, and anyone with drier skin too, they don't necessarily like more of that powdery finish, right? I know, um, and it does, I feel like I don't like to cake on the powder too much because I do, like I am getting more like lines or like smile lines, whatever, around like my eyes and stuff. So I do have to be careful about how much powder I put there, but I do have to do just like a light dusting of it just for my personal preference. But okay, so there is the base face, okay? So then I'm just gonna show you real quick here I'm gonna take my fluffy brush here. This is the Sunkiss Bronzing Powder. Um, I love this stuff, you guys, especially summertime too. I just kind of put it right under my cheekbone here. You can go as light or as heavy as you want with it, depending on what your skin tone is. If you're more fair skin tone, I would go lighter with this. Um, and then obviously if you have some summer color, you can like, Go as heavy as you want. I'm, I feel like I'm like lathering myself in this sun kiss bronzing powder all the time. <sighs> okay, so then I just kind of put it right up in the corners here, right in this temple area, because what I'm doing with this, I'm kind of using my, this bronzing powder as like a contour color because the sun kiss bronzing powder does not have a shimmer to it. Um, I have other powders that I'm going to use that have a shimmer, but this does not have anything like shimmery or anything like that. It is more of a matte color. So I like to use it kind of as a contour color, especially in the summertime when, you know, got my summer color going. <laughs> and then I grab like an eyeshadow brush, kind of like a flatter, like fluffy one. And I will take it and I'll go right on the sides of my nose. This kind of adds just a little bit of definition to the nose gives it a little bit more shape. Yes, I contour my nose. <laughs> oh. What can't you contour these days? Like people, people contour like collarbones and like <laughs> abs, like, like literally you would be amazed at what you could contour. Okay, then I go a little bit across like the bridge of my nose here. And it just kind of adds like, so I don't know if you can see the difference or not, but I feel like it just adds a little bit more definition to my nose. And then I put a little bit under here just to kind of give your lip that mo a little bit more like, if you put a shadow under it and then like a highlight on top of it, kind of gives your lips more of the appearance of kind of like a more, like a pouty look, I guess. Okay, so then I take my fluffy brush. Hi, Patty. Girl, I know I when I was getting ready to hop on live, I like pulled up Facebook and I seen you were live. I was like, ah, I wanna watch Patty's live. <laughs> Patty, what did you do on your live, girl? Alicia, the getaway was so nice. It was so nice. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, it, it was a nice little getaway. I was definitely like worried about Asher because it's of course like first trip away from home, like without him. But, um, but no, he, he did great. He was excited to see me when I got home, everything like that. But it was a nice little break for mama. So yeah. Okay. So then I also take this and go right underneath here just to kind of like accentu accentuate the jawline a little bit more. Okay. So pop that on there. I keep hitting my earrings. They're flopping everywhere. They're like, foo, foo. <laughs> Okay, right there. Right there. Y'all, can you believe this live's almost over? This is a pretty quick live for me. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, Patty, you showed off the new brushes. Girl, I haven't got my new brushes yet. 
<sighs> I gotta get mine. I like, I need to order them. Ugh. I have been slacking. This month has been crazy busy. Oh my gosh. Crazy busy. I'm like super jealous of everyone already getting their brushes. I'm like, gosh dang it. <laughs> okay. So there is the bronzing powder. And then what I like to do, again, this is all face makeup, okay? So then I take my smaller fruff, fruffy brush. <laughs> you guys, you just hear that? I'm like, my smaller fruffy. <laughs> smaller fluffy brush. There we go. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, this is like by far one of my favorite products, okay? Can, I don't know if you can see the glow on this, but... Um, this is the terracotta blush powder. It's number 16. It is my all-time favorite, okay? And I'm gonna show you why. So, taking my smaller fruffy, fruffy brush, we're just gonna call it that, okay? Fruffy, fruffy brush. <laughs> Made a new name. <laughs> okay, so taking that, and then watch this. Okay, well, I gotta get the glow off my face here. And then I just dust this on my cheekbone and like look at the glow, like look at that like shimmer that gives. It's such a soft glowy look compared to like not really a glow over here. Like look at that, what? Like I feel bad because my light is putting out such a weird like glare right now so you can't really get the full effect but it's amazing, it's amazing. <laughs> Like, look at that! Ah! <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> you just got yours today, Patty. Girl. Brittany, you laughing at me. <laughs> Brittany, I still have to go watch your live where you let your hubby do your makeup. I cannot wait to watch that live. The picture that I saw was cracking me up. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna die when I watch this thing. <laughs> Okay, so then I dust a little bit on the tip of my nose there, and then a little on the bridge of my nose, right on the Cupid's bow. Right here, and just a little on the chin. And literally, that is like my base face makeup that I do on a regular basis. Sorry, I feel like this is like not blending. Here we go. There we go. There we go, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, that is kind of just what I like to do on the daily for my base makeup. That way it just looks still like really glowy, like really natural. You can like some, like if anything, I will pop on like my eyebrow pencil, little mascara, and then throw on like a lip gloss or something. And then that's kind of what I do on the daily, but I'm not going to finish it out because like I said, later in the week, we're going to do segments and I, like, it'll be all about brows on Thursday, Saturday. We'll do, um, more of like the eye makeup, like eyeshadow, uh, mascara, liner, maybe lashes if you guys want to see it. And then, um, and then on Monday, next Monday, I will do all about lips. We can swatch a few colors, whatever you guys want to do. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes, Millie, that's what I'm thinking too, because I'm wearing black. <laughs> I feel like I always get a weird glare when I do that. <sighs> Brittany girl, I can't wait. Let's see. Is this the only makeup? Donna, yeah, this is pretty much, um, pharmacy is the only makeup I use. The only other thing I will use is different eyeshadow palettes for some like crazier colors. But other than that, the, um, pharmacy is the only makeup that I use. Yeah. Uh, Tiffany, yes, girl. Yes. I do do Halloween looks. Um, so that's actually kind of how I started building my following and everything was last year around Halloween time. I knew I could do like the skeleton makeup because I had tried it before, but yeah, I just, um, yeah, the, the, those are on the way. Just, just wait. I'm, I'm waiting until September hits because I'm not doing any Halloween, any fall, anything until September hits because August is summer. August is for summer. <laughs> But yes, I have Halloween looks coming, you guys, okay? So um, for those of you that don't know, I do have a YouTube channel. So if you're new to watching me, um, go check out Tori's Beauty Tribe on YouTube. 
Uh, we're just trying to work on growing the channel. We're working on coming up with the next giveaway. We did a ring light giveaway, so we're trying to figure out what to give away next. So, um, but yeah, be sure to go check out the channel, subscribe, like, comment, all of that fun stuff. It helps the, the channel grow and we appreciate it tremendously, like so much. We appreciate all the support. Um, and I say we because it is a family channel. My husband edits and does all of that with the videos. And my little guy is in a lot of them too. So it's a family channel. <laughs> um, otherwise, if you have questions about any of the makeup I used, shoot me a message. If you want color match, anything like that, just shoot me a message, girlfriend. Girlfriend, guy friend, whoever you are. Um, otherwise, yeah, I will be doing a hair tutorial tomorrow and head candy will be on, so be sure to hop on. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening, okay? See you later. Bye.